my good sis, uh, Jaguar Wright, has gone international. <laughs> she was on Pierce Morgan. Iconic. All right, you white motherfuckers, all eyes on me. This is the I Refuse Podcast. This is Mr. 5 C.I. Podcast. Who? I'm back. So, the good auntie in my head on, you know, of the I Refuse Podcast, who we've been talking about for a long time, has, uh, is now international. Has gone on Pierce Morgan. Jaguar Wright, R&B songstress, writer, musician, um, Dallas native, I believe, um, Philly associated, Roots associated, Soul Aquarians associated, has been making her rounds, um, Gaining a lot of traction across YouTube, across podcasts, or across blogs. Um, has been getting a lot of journalistic shine. Um, speaking on the Diddy situation. So if you've been living under a rock, living in Amish country, living in the backwoods of America. We here on the Air Fuse podcast have been following our good sis Jaguar Wright since damn near 2020, 2021, since she started popping up again on IG Live. Um, around the time that Malik B, the originator and founder of The Roots, passed away. And it was during that, that purge on IG Live that Jaguar Wright was throwing us all in the group chat on a regular, I say daily, weekly basis to spill all the tea, oh, which was a treat to see. You truly had to be there. This was at the prominence of, um, what's that app? that we were using that we don't use that much anymore. Not Blackboard, it was, um, you know the one. But literally it was sending a lot of people in the, in the tailspin. During that time, she was talking about Common, Jill Scott, Erica Badu, um, The Roots, touring, um, waking up, a lot and this was in her words, she went, one of the stories that stuck out to me, we talked about it on the I Refuse podcast, season two, I believe. Um, the Boys Club episodes, by the way. Um, the the abuse she, she experienced while on tour. And she, and given that we were, I was outside at that time, like the timeline checked out it for her to have as much detail and this is this is one of the reasons why I'm in the one percent that still rides with her not a thousand percent but it, it most of what she's saying is to is is coming out to be true in my eyes the timeline and what she had to say, I was like, oh, wow. And how she was tightly interwoven with the roots and the solar aquariums and all that stuff. I was like, oh, this is so good. Um, so fast forward, you know, we talked about how the need to protect black women and how across the board in different industries it's just terrible and it's absolutely necessary if there's any 
any demographic we need to hear from still to this day, it's black women in the industry. Yes, it's cute that the rapper, female rappers are doing biopics and memoirs and stuff. But if there's any demographic or career path of women that we would love to hear from more than ever are female executives that were at the Def Jams and were at the Bad Boys and female um, former uh, video vixens that were at the music videos that were brought into some of these uh, parties and stuff like that. And that's another layer as to why I'm still rocking with Jaguar, right? Because while it it may be true that she is suffering from mental illness, and yes, while it may be true that she is having these issues with personal people, the husband who's now an ex-husband, um, the father of her son, stuff regarding her son and the ashes and stuff like that. We have all this stuff kind of playing out on social media. Um, I find it quite interesting that all of it starts to come out while a lot of us are eating up these, which I'll call conspiracy theories about J and B and the Illuminati and stuff like that. At the end of the day, again, while I said that I don't fully ride with everything that this, this lady says, there's something about a train wreck that you just can't turn away from. And we stay clocked in, we stay watching, and she keeps... She keeps it entertaining. She keeps the thoughts. And there is a ring of truth to this idea of, well, if she, if all she's saying are a bunch of lies, why isn't anybody suing her? And here comes DJ Vlad. Coming down on the Bird app a couple days ago, talking about something to the effect of, what's the point of suing somebody that has nothing? And I said in the comments section, why don't you ask Tasha Cat? I mean, filing a lawsuit or, you know, releasing allegations is a tactic to get somebody to slow down or stop speaking on them. But at the rate and the traction that things are going these days, prime example, this Diddy situation. Y'all were talking the same mess last fall. Now look at where we're at. And you don't think there's overlap with Diddy and his parties. Um, and we've seen the list that's come out where I'm like, I don't necessarily think that's the smoking gun to, oh, these are the people that were involved in the freak offs and stuff. But a lot of theories are coming out about that. There's overlap with Jaguar's existence in the industry and these parties. There's overlap with the people that have attended those parties and her association with Jay and what she's possibly seen. Don't... I, people think that the here now and her um, distance from relevancy is mutually exclusive to her merit to what she's saying. And just like with the Diddy memes, you know, y'all have taken to TikTok and social media and making the memes, so particularly around the baby oil, which has pissed off Cassie, um, which I'll get into that later. But y'all are essentially mocking Jaguar, right? 
there's this guy on TikTok that is <laughs> it's 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 funny to me, but there's there's no possible way for a person to keep going this long and ninety percent of it be a lie. Like, you don't think at the height of people's careers that Diddy has been associated with as a producer, she, Jaguar Wright, hasn't seen or experienced or known things? Quite as it's kept, when it comes to a memoir that should come out, it should be hers. And I feel like... I feel like if she keeps talking, that there will be more opportunities coming her way. <laughs> it, I had this thought last night. If they were to do a Lifetime biopic, they should get Lisa Nicole Carson to play Jaguar Wright in this biopic. Two people that allegedly suffer from mental illness. Two people that have been allegedly blackballed and blacklisted. Two people, she looks, Lisa Nicole Carson, who was on Ally McBeal back in the day, was in Jason's Lyric, um, just gorgeous. Can, can pull it off. Mark my words. Like, if they can do a biopic on Miss Cleo and have Lady of Rage play Miss Cleo, they can do a biopic. A little, you know, freebie, to be. I mean, Lifetime was setting the bar kind of high. Um, cautionary tale. Sorry, I'm Lisa Nicole Carson as Jaguar Wright. You heard it here. So... I'm not, at, at, the, at the most, I'm entertained by Jaguar Wright. At the very least, there is, there has to be some, there is some truth to what she's saying. And she is just, for the most part these days, just opining, just like the rest of us. Now y'all can poke fun which I think is, is a little tacky and tasteless because the same people that are making fun and making these TikToks and stuff are the same people that have been made aware that this lady is suffering from something. But the bar is so low for social media engagement that y'all, we already know that y'all will blab and discuss anything there's no privacy and no secrets um y'all have this level of entitlement y'all don't know these people and she is throughout all this especially when it comes to Diddy is giving the same energy that Azalea Banks has given another problematic fave of mine um, and it's still the year of what Cat Williams said back in the Shannon Sharp interview earlier this year. This will be the year of people being exposed. And I know some of y'all are outside talking about he should have closed the portal because Jaguar Wright is just, is just off the hook these days. Listen, say what you want. Um... For Jaguar Wright to go from IG Live to, what is it, the Written Report podcast and, you know, YouTube shorts to Pierce Morgan, who, Pierce Morgan, I wouldn't put in the same vein of, like, an Anderson Cooper. Totally junk tabloid, celebrity, celeb, will give a mic to anybody. 
it's still international. While we are on the outside saying the same shit about Jaguar Wright. But I think a year from now, people will look back and be like, dang, she was, she, she, she knew what she was talking about. She may be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but she's not doing any more, any less than what I'm doing right now in front of y'all. And what I've been doing on the YouTube channel just this past year alone, almost, with the Surviving Diddy series. Get into that. So I'm gonna rock with Jaguar Wright because she has a story to tell. I wasn't there, but when she first started telling her story, the timelines just, the timelines were timelining. And she, she hasn't been stopped yet, so. And in the shadow of her talking, more blind items have come out. And a lot of shifts have been happening beyond Diddy. A lot of shifts in the personal lives, allegedly, of the celebrities that love those freak-offs. You know, allegedly wives moving out of the house. Um, people, of course, distancing themselves. But... Definitely a lot of sh a shifts happening. And, um... It, birds of a feather. Birds of a feather, but... You know, there is a lot of stuff still coming out around Diddy. And I think as long as that will continue to happen, Jaguar, Jaguar Wright will continue to keep talking. You know, they often, it's often been said that a child not embraced by the village will burn it down in order to fill its warmth. And I'm here for it. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. Um, this is Mr. Fox I Refuse Podcast. This has been real. Keep it locked and loaded on the I Refuse Podcast wherever you get your podcast. Also, follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel here. Um, get into our Twitter at I Refuse Podcast. Follow, subscribe there. Follow, subscribe on the Instagram at I Refuse Podcast. Underscore between the words. Get into Usual Suspects and the I Refuse Podcast after dark. If you ever feel so inclined. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Fendi, like the bag. <laughs>